Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we are joined by Vaughan Shanks, who is the CEO of Sidearm. Sidearm offers cyber resilience through efficient security operations that can be easily tailored to organizational needs. Vaughan joins us today to share more about Sidearm and how its platform helps customers. Thank you for coming along, Vaughan, and welcome to the Jam. Thanks for having me, Zach. So for someone unfamiliar with Sidearm, what product do you offer? So Sidearm is a platform built for cybersecurity operations. And what we do is we make, uh, we enable organizations to achieve cyber resilience through better, faster, and more consistent cybersecurity operations and uh, using evidence uh, to improve um, resilience. So we're big on evidence-based security. Um, so the platform is accessed through a secure web app and uh, that can either be hosted by us or by customer organizations. And we certainly have some customers who have special requirements for sensitive data. Um, and the platform is useful in particular for collaboration. Uh, so depending on, on who you are, uh, that might determine what security attributes you have, be it uh, a, a staff member at an organization or maybe an external service provider or someone in, a, in an adjacent team. And based on your attributes, we can actually filter what is displayed and it's this fine-grained access control that actually enables the collaboration on the platform. Awesome. So how does your case management platform help companies to mitigate cyber risks? Yeah, good question. So I think um, a couple of the big risks right now are just the, uh, just the velocity and the, uh, the, the ramp up in cyber attacks that we're seeing. Combine that with the skills shortage and really a couple of key risks around this. Firstly, uh, dealing with skills shortage, um, you need a way to bring less experienced people um, into your security operations team if you're going to be able to staff a security operations effort. Uh, and that's not possible if people are having to learn everything as they go. And so our platform provides integrated playbooks. And that means that someone with very little training can, can join an experienced team and immediately start becoming productive um, by doing some of the more routine tasks and also uh, leaving a, a, a paper trail as they go uh, so they can um, look for opportunities to improve. Um, secondly, uh, with the increasing pace of, of security threats, uh, the amount of time it takes for an attacker to move uh, from an initial foothold on your infrastructure to lateral movement and potentially something like a ransomware attack uh, is less than two hours um, by common estimations. Uh, so if you want to front run that, you need to be very efficient at triaging threats, understanding and, and, and uh, providing context around threats, and then containing the threat. And, uh, and they talk about the 11060 rule, one minute for triage, 10 minutes for understanding, 60 minutes for containment. And that process is a lot easier if you have um, a platform that enables you to spread that effort among several people to track who's doing what, uh, to have playbooks so that you're organized out of the gate and you can immediately uh, go into, into a rapid defense mode without needing to search around and try and figure out the best approach. We're just removing that cognitive burden um, to allow teams to function really well, even on their bad days. And what features are your product development teams laser focused on next? Yeah, so at the moment, we're making some exciting changes um, to our integrated playbook system. Uh, so to that end, we're moving beyond um, uh, a checklist-based approach, and we're moving into something that works more like a flow chart. And part of that will be the ability to do hybrid orchestration. So uh, preserving human agency and collaboration where you want to have that flow chart um, ability and be able to parallelize tasks and make decisions, but then also speeding up parts of the process using automation. Um, so that's a very exciting development. The other thing we're working on is improving our user serviceability. Um, so we'd like a, an administrator at an organization to be able to immediately, uh, once they get onto the platform, uh, to start integrating with their existing security infrastructure. So we're aiming to make that process smoother and easier for our users. Awesome. So what are some of the cyber threat trends that you're seeing that businesses should maybe be looking out for? Yeah, so the, the last three years or so, we've seen a, um, a spate of, of ransomware attacks. Uh, and, and I think this has been made worse, frankly, by the, uh, the prevalence of remote work. Uh, so, you know, with, with remote work during COVID and now trending towards a hybrid work mode, uh, more and more people need remote access uh, to their systems to do their job. And this includes critical systems like power and water that can be accessed remotely um, out of necessity. 
Um, add to this the fact that e-commerce um, saw during the first six months of 2020, 2020 alone, uh, saw a, a um, basically 10 years of growth. So if you imagine the, the rapidly expanding IT estate, that gives a plethora of options for attackers to go after. And as they say, the defenders have to be right all the time. Attackers only have to be right once. Um, we are seeing uh, more and more organizations are having effective ransomware strategies. And so the attack is now moving to a hack and leak type um, attack where they not only uh, ransom uh, the data, so they encrypt the machines, but actually steal a copy first and then threaten to release parcels of data on the dark web if you don't pay. And we saw this recently with the, uh, with the Optus hack, for example. Um, despite the, all the publicity that ransomware gets against large organizations, uh, still, sadly, uh, the most, the biggest category um, of, of cybercrime, the biggest money spinner is business email compromise. Um, so this is where even a small organization uh, can get a threat actor into their email system and basically trick them into paying invoices into bank accounts uh, that, that are not owned by them. Could be getting sent to a money mill, for example. Um, typical vectors that we're seeing for attacks, uh, phishing attacks. So, you know, fraudulent emails with, with dodgy links in them. Um, we see credential stuffing. So that's where someone reuses a password and that password gets, uh, gets stolen from some other source and then used against one of their other accounts. Um, password stealing, uh, where you're tempted to a site that looks like a legitimate site and they tempt you to enter your password. Um, and then of course, uh, all your uh, web application weaknesses are still very prevalent. And we saw uh, just, just last week, um, Exchange Server has had yet another uh, basically a, a, um, a remote code execution followed by um, a web shell. Uh, so, and I'd say too, the other, the other um, threat currently, frankly, is, uh, is regulation. Um, and people don't talk about this a whole lot, but, but regulation as a threat to business is, uh, I mean, the, the government can, can fine you, they can impose additional restrictions or, or obligations on you if you're in critical infrastructure. And, uh, and after the, uh, the big breach of last week that I already mentioned, um, the patience of the government and the regulators and the general public, frankly, is wearing thin. So more regulation is coming. Yeah. So if a partner or enterprise end user wanted to engage with Sidearm, what is the best way to get in touch with you? Uh, yeah. So first of all, you can go to our website to learn more about the platforms. That's uh, sidearm.com. Uh, and from there, you can uh, you, we have a, a web form. You can contact us that way um, or just email us, um, hello at sidearm.com. Uh, we're very happy to provide a demo uh, to any prospective customers. And we can also set you up with a trial if you're keen to know more. Fantastic. It's been great to hear more about Sidearm and how your solutions keep customers safe from cyber threats. Thank you for joining us on the Jam Vaughan. And we look forward to hearing more from Sidearm in the future. Thanks, Zach. Good talking to you.